Just a minute, miss. What do you want? Aren't you forgetting something? Well, I don't know what you mean. Please let me go. I'll tell you what I mean. Yes, you forgot to pay for it, didn't you? Please. Please don't have me arrested. I've never done anything like this before. Or never gotten caught before, which? Look, I'll do anything to pay for it. You've got to give me a chance. Come on. Her name was Abby Thomas, Mrs. Abby Thomas. She kept insisting she had never done anything like this before. From her looks and the clumsy way she lifted the bracelet, I was ready to believe her. But Mark Herman, who ran the place, wasn't inclined to be so believing. His instincts were sound, called the cops. I persuaded him to hold off, give me a chance to talk to her. I'm so ashamed. What'll they do to me? Well, that all depends. Will they send me to jail? Don't let them send me to jail, Mr. Hammer. You don't look like a girl with sticky fingers. Why did you do it? I never stole a thing in my life before. Well, then why did you do it? You wouldn't understand. Nobody would. I had to have it for my sister. She's being married. So? I couldn't afford to buy it. Can you understand? I had to have something for her. You're a married woman. Doesn't your husband work? Yes. And you had to steal a $10 bracelet? That's wild. You expect me to believe that? We're in debt up to our ears. My husband gambles. He keeps telling me not to worry. He'll win it back. That's like tap dancing on quicksand. I even thought of calling the police and having the club he plays at raided. So why didn't you? If his bosses found out how much he owed, they'd fire him. Hmm. Where does your husband work? He's manager of the Sloan supermarket at East End Avenue and 81st Street. I've tried everything. I even threatened to leave him, but I couldn't go through with it. Mr. Hammer... If you talk to my husband, maybe it would help. I will see. Let's take your problem first. I told Mark Herman I believed Abby when she said it had never happened before and never would again. As a favor to me, he agreed to forget the whole thing. I needed Abby Thomas' troubles like I needed a hole in the head, but she looked so hopeless and so forlorn, I couldn't resist dealing myself in. I told her my idea, and she agreed to go along. According to Abby Thomas, her husband had Friday afternoons off. It was a ritual for him to go to the local club and gamble. I arranged to arrive just about the time he usually left. Why? Abby! <laughs> oh, who's this? Why, this must be old Bill. Bill? You've heard me talk about my cousin, Mike Hurley, from Albany. Oh, Mike, what a wonderful surprise. <laughs> well, your cousin, you had me worried that. Oh, Bill, stop it. Michael, think you mean it. Well, where are your bags? Yo, I, uh, I checked in down the hotel, Abby. A uh, fellow can spread around a little more down there, Bill, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't get down very often, but when I do, mm. Bill, uh, maybe you and uh, Mike could do something today. Yeah. Huh? Oh, sure, uh... Before you go back, we'll go out in the town and, you know... Oh, well, I don't know how long I'm going to be in town. I might be on that bus back to Albany tomorrow. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, listen, I got an appointment. No, 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 it's, it's all right. I'll, uh, I'll scare up a little action. You go on and do what you have to do. Well, do you understand? Yeah, that? sure, sure. Sure. Uh, but Bill? Um, couldn't you skip the game just this once? Oh, it's too late. They couldn't get anybody now. Three-handed poker's no game, eh, Mike? Poker, you say? Well, uh, I take a flyer now and then myself. I could use an extra hand. Well, I sure could use a little action. Oh, it's uh, pretty steep. Uh, well, I, uh, I'm no piker, you know. I, uh, I don't pay for penny ante, you know what I mean? Well, I'll, uh, I'll check with the boys. I guess they won't mind. Might be careful. Bill's in enough trouble. I don't want him to get in any deeper. All right, you just leave it right up to me, huh? Well, incidentally, here's a little something for your sister. A, uh, wedding present. Oh, I couldn't take it. I sure you could. After all, she's my cousin, too, remember? Okay, Mike. You're all set. Yeah? That's good. Good. Oh, honey. Once I get even, I'll, I'll never look at another card as long as I live. Cousin upstate, Mike Hurley. Hi, 
Hi, well, so these are the geese to be plucked, huh? Well, I feel lucky today, boys. Hope you got lots of money with you. Uh, Jim Roddy, Fred Bale, Bob Crossan. Well, let's get a show on the road, huh? The longer we wait, the longer it's going to take to separate you gents from your money. Play a lot of poker, do you, Mike? Well, I'm considered a pretty fair player up in Albany. That's where I'm from, Albany. Might as well know the ground rules. No table limits. Stack is worth 50. 50? Too rich for your blood? Well, <laughs> no. Uh, well, that is a little steep for a country boy. But uh, as the gent says, if you don't speculate, you can't accumulate. <laughs> Let's get on with the game, huh? Sure. Roddy had a way with cards, all right. He didn't discriminate, dealt them from the top and bottom with equal dexterity. I could have broken up the game right then, but I was getting curious as to why they were going to such lengths to get Bill Thomas on the hook. I decided to wait until they declared their hand. Get Linda in here, Bill. Guess we could use some chow, huh? Well, let's chase out the ribbon clerks. Let's make it really worthwhile. You guys make it pretty tough. The fellow's got to protect his investment. <clears throat> no thanks. All right, let's see what you guys are so proud of. King High Street. Full house. I knew the cards had a turn for me. Hold it. I think my four little fours top that. You clumsy fool! Just a minute, Buster. We don't show women around where I come from. Get your hands off me, Lacey! Cut it out! Hey, Cut it out, I come say! Come on, knock it off. What's the matter, you two? You crazy? He didn't apologize to the little lady. Don't push your luck. One lucky punch don't win a fight. Are you cashing your chips and beat it? We don't like troublemakers. Come on. Get out of here. I don't mind if I do. It's been a profitable afternoon. Yeah, that's three stacks. That means you owe me a hundred clams. It's been a lucky day. In more ways than one, you're able to walk out of here. Come on, Mike. I wouldn't I'll... come back if I were you. I'll call you before I leave town, Bill. Thanks for the contributions, gents. I'm sorry, Roddy. I just met him today for the first time myself. I don't like wise guys. You were no help either, Crossan. I guess I lost my head. Well, go get some air and cool off. You too, Bill. I want to have a little talk with Bill in private. Four stacks today. That's 1,800 Uranus. <whistles> well, I didn't realize it was that bad. Well, I'll try to get something on account and... Uh... I need the whole 1800 right now. But you said there was no hurry. Something's come up. I need it now. That'd be reasonable. I... I couldn't raise $18, let alone 1800 You'll have to. I expect to pay when I lose. I expect to get paid when I win. I'll pay when I can. There's an ugly word. Welshing. People who do it get hurt sometimes. Bad. Oh, listen, now you go to my boss, I'm gonna get fired. I never will be able to pay you. Or right, take it out of my hide. There's other ways a man can get hurt. If a man loves his wife and something happens. Oh, leave my wife out of this. I don't like people to lay hands on me. Listen, Roddy, if anything happens to my wife, nobody wants to see your wife get hurt. All I want is my money. What I have to do to get it is up to you. Well, you're going to get it, every cent of it. But you, you got to give me time. 24 hours. That's your outside limit. I waited for Bill to leave and then headed for the basement entrance. The guy 
guy who answered was the understanding type. I asked for Linda. He understood. With Linda, however, it wasn't quite so easy. But finally she weakened and agreed I could see her home. She would be off in 15 minutes. I promised to drop back and pick her up. sure she wasn't part of the setup. As far as she was concerned, I was just a guy who didn't like seeing a gal slapped around. That made me different from the usual kind she met at the club. By the time we reached her place, we were getting along just fine. Get out of here. Now let's give him something to remember the big town by. I've been had. Why did you do it, Linda? Why did I do what? You walked me right into it with all that sweet talk about how grateful you were for being treated like a lady. I didn't know they'd be here. How many other suckers you walked into a trap, Linda? How many? Mike, you're hurting me. How many? None. And I didn't walk you into a trap. You know about that card game, didn't you know it was crooked, didn't you? Well, I've guessed it from the things that they said when they were alone. Sure, everybody can't lose. They let an occasional sucker win, and they take it away from him later, like today. Is that your real job there, huh? Look, I work there, Mike. But as a waitress, not as a chef. Sure. Well, the game may be crooked, but I know part of it. Honey, I don't believe you. Well, I don't care whether you believe me or not. You're just like all the rest of them. I know better. Now, get out, Mike. Look, baby. Look, if that's what you think of me, then you should be glad to get rid of me. Now, get out. I'm sorry, honey. You don't have to care about me. Nobody else does. But I do. Do you? Look. A detective? Yeah. Oh, my God. Now, you see, you see why I really got to get to the bottom of this whole operation. Well, you said yourself they're crooked gamblers. They set up a sucker and they clean them. They play every day. How can they get rich playing for IOUs they can't collect? Well, they usually play for money. Only a few can give an IOU. Your friend Bill's one of them. And why him? Why Bill? And why, why they let him get in so deep, huh? Honey, would you like to help me? Mm-hmm. Well, have you got a key to the club? Oh, yes, to the basement. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I'd like to get in there. I want to look around. Oh, Mike, is that smart? What? what? Carson would kill you. You know how violent he gets. Yeah, I got a pretty good idea. But then again, I'm not exactly the gentle type myself. Uh -uh. Well, uh, do we go? Oh, no. The club won't be closed for hours yet. Oh. We'll wait. I don't imagine we'll be bored. to keep the IOUs just locked up in a desk drawer. They told me one thing. Bill Thomas wasn't the only one to play on credit. There were other IOUs in the drawer. Several of them had a company name penciled under the signature. They might come in real handy. Everybody in the game had handled the cards. It wouldn't be much of a trick for identification to find five different prints. It might be interesting to see if the mates to any of the other four were also on file. Mine were because I had to be printed to be licensed. I wondered what their reason would be. Sergeant McLean agreed to lift the prints from the cards and check them against the files. He told me to call later in the day and he might have some information. I got a small rebate in my taxes. McLean let me make a couple of calls. 
The phone calls paid off. The men whose IOUs were in Roddy's desk had responsible positions. Apparently, he took paper only from men in no position to renege. But a bigger and a more interesting picture was beginning to take shape. I had the pattern. The next thing I had to know was whether or not Bill fitted into that pattern. The best place to find out was where Bill worked, Sloan's Market on East End Avenue. It was one of those places where you had only to name what you wanted and they were sure to have it. I told the clerk what I wanted and he obliged. I was a relative, so we said go right on in. Well, catch me at a bad time, Mike. And Saturday's our big day, you know. Oh, well, I wouldn't feel right leaving without saying goodbye. Oh, oh, you're leaving, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wish I was going with you. Uh, uh, something wrong? No, nothing I can't handle. Come in. Okay, good. Yeah, that's a powerful lot of cash to keep on hand. Uh, it's weekend business. Bank's closed on Saturday, you know. Uh -huh. Well, I won't keep you. I see you're busy. Uh, next uh, next time I'm in the big town, I'll call you. Yeah, okay, Mike, you do that. Bye. of cash and a safe for the weekend answered my question. Bill fitted the pattern like a kid glove. I figured I owed it to Abby to let her know what was playing. Maybe she could warn Bill, because from now on, it was a job for the police. But it wasn't as simple as that. Somebody had beaten me to Abby Thomas. She was gone, but not willingly. Roddy and his gang were no amateurs. They were taking out insurance against Bill resisting their plan. If they followed their usual M.O., the plan would be to force Bill to help them rob the supermarket. But I had to find Abby and make sure she was all right. And it didn't take any great powers of deduction to figure out where I'd find her. Your friends are wasting their time. Bill won't even listen to them. He's no thief. For your sake, I hope he makes an exception this time. Do you think for $1,800 he'd let them rob the store? Men have been killed for a lot less than $1,800, lady. Why in time for the games and stuff? anybody in my whole life. Yeah. Oh, the other two, they're going to rob Bill's store. Yeah, I know. What are you going to do? I'm calling the police. Oh, no, don't. They'll take Bill, too. They'll think he's in on it. Well, if he isn't, he can prove it. Give him a chance. Honey, I can't. There's no time. They're probably there already. Well, don't call the police. Let me call Bill. Let me tell him what happened. I can't take that chance. He'll be strong. I know he will. All right, honey. Call him. Bill? Abby? Abby, where are you? I've been trying to reach you. We haven't much time, Bill. Two men came to the apartment and took me with them. What? Where are you? Now, everything is all right. Just listen to me. Mike is here. Hey, let me talk to him. Yeah, hello, Bill. Mike, what's going on? Roddy's all set to rob your store with your help. He and Bill are on their way there now. How soon do you close? Um, 15, 20 minutes. Well, uh, what'll I do? Just a minute. I'll tell you what you do. I outlined a plan. Bill agreed without any argument, even though I pointed out there might be danger to him. Bill Thomas had not only learned his lesson, he was willing to pay for the tuition. I made Abby promise to go right home and wait to hear from us. Crossing was no problem. I dumped him in the closet, locked the door. He didn't seem to mind. I couldn't make it to the supermarket by closing time. I just had to depend on Bill for my plan to work smoothly. Oh. 
What are you fellas doing here? Store is closed. Thought we could keep our little talk more private this way. It's a little hard on the feet waiting for those clerks of yours to close up. Your time's run out. Uh, I couldn't raise the money. I can't just print it. That's your problem. Roddy, you gotta wait. We might be able to wait, but could your wife? What about my wife? Talk to her lately? Don't waste your time. She is not there. Where is she? What have you done with her? She is in good hands. Crossin is taking care of her. Crossin? Oh, he won't bother her. As long as he hears from us in 15 minutes. What if he lays a hand on Abby? Sit down. Sit down. Well, let's talk sense. We came here for our money. I told you you haven't got it. Sure you have. You've got more than enough in there. What are you, crazy? I could... You'll be crazy not to. never get away with it. It's your only way out. Nobody will ever know. We'll tie you up, make you look like an outside job. Well, I gotta, I gotta think about it. What's there to think about? That 15 minutes is almost up. It could be very unpleasant for your wife. Alice and Roddy, open the safe. His wife is safe at home. Oh, by the way, you better tell the police to drop by the club and pick up Cross. They'll find him at the blooms in the closet. They'll never believe you weren't buying back your IOUs by setting this up. What do you mean, these? I think i along with me. You never really won them. Not with a cold deck. The cards I'd turned over to Sergeant McLean showed that Roddy and his gang had wants in three other cities. So Bill Thomas came out a hero instead of a heel. He confessed to his bosses that he had been a gambler, but they were willing to take his word that he had gotten it out of his system. Well, I don't know how to start to thank you, Mike, so I won't even try. Well, I don't want you to. Anyway, I just dropped by to see that husband of yours. Oh, uh, listen, Mike, I meant it when I said I'd never look at another card as long as I live. Good, good. Well, oh, incidentally, I haven't kissed my cousin goodbye. Mike, I was going to ask you about that policeman. I seem to know you so well. Uh, mm, oh, yeah, he's a good friend of mine. Uh, you're from Albany. Uh, no, I'm not from Albany. What? As a matter of fact, I'm not even a cousin. Uh, you explain, huh? Hey, wait a minute, what is all this? The guy comes in here... 